Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Today I'm looking at an Effingro knife. This is the Effingro EF923. Now, I have had an Effingro in the past, a couple years ago, but I'd stopped buying them. And the reason for that is that uh, Love Them Knives does some steel testing, they send things out, and uh, in the past, F and Grow had had some knives they'd advertised as being D2 steel. They'd come back as 8CR13 MOV. Now, I'm fine with 8CR as a steel, uh, but I want them to be honest. I want to know what I'm getting because there may be a reason that I would like the 8CR13. There may be a reason that I would like the D2. D2 is going to be a more expensive steel. If you're telling me it's the more expensive steel, don't then sell me something that's less expensive. Now, 8CR is going to be much easier to sharpen than D2, but it's not going to hold an edge as long. And if edge retention is what you want, then that kind of screws you over. Now, this has a really interesting blade shape. Um, and the reason I, I just bought it because of that, and uh, the other reason is that Love Them Knives has now tested some of the more recent F and Grows uh, in this 900 series. And they've actually been what they say they are. So this one says it's D2. Uh, I forget if he actually tested this specific model, but he tested maybe four or five other models and they were all D2. So I am actually going to believe that this one is D2 at this point. This one is, uh, you can see, is in the natural G2, or excuse me, G10. Not sure where I got G2 from, uh, probably from D2. Uh, but it's in the natural G10, uh, which has sort of this jade color. You can see uh, it is skeletonized. Closed, we are a little over five inches, about five and a quarter. Flipper knife, no thumb studs. Still relatively heavy, even though it's skeletonized. Um, pocket clip. And you can see it does have a little pop of color there. It's got the blue accent. Now the pocket clip is one position only. So it's going to be right hand carry tip up. The little uh, pivot screw here also has some blue on it. Nice little pop of color. But the reason I bought it is I thought this blade shape was interesting. I wanted to check it out. And I was surprised. Uh, this actually is a really comfortable design. Um, I was not expecting it. Uh, you know, I thought it might be decent, but it really fits well in the hand. And this also comes in black and an OD green. Those are both about 25 bucks, which is sort of the ballpark for uh, the budget Chinese made D2 knives these days. But this color was on sale for $16.50. So I picked it up, even though the jade is not my favorite shade of, uh, of D, uh, G10. See, this has this really funky shape to it. Now, I don't know if this is a clone of something. Um, as far as I know, this is the original design. It may be a clone. I don't want to get into the whole discussion. Other than to say that pretty much every knife company uh, has clones or have things that could be seen as clones. So, including, uh, actually I just saw a buck that looks almost exactly like a Ganso that came out two years ago. I don't know if these are intentional or not. I'm not gonna get into that discussion. You can have your own opinion on that. Uh, but to my knowledge, this is not a clone of anything. If you have information otherwise, let me know. Uh, I'd, I'd be interested in that. But this blade uh, is running measure it from the edge here and you're running about three and three quarter inches the cutting edge is about three and one quarter uh interesting look to it we've got the swedge up here and on the back it says d2 you can see um but you can get up like this it's very comfortable you can hold it grip like this it's very comfortable or you can choke up with this finger choil, and it really that really locks you in, um, actually in all of the positions. You could also get the reverse grip. Not quite as comfortable there, but still not bad. 
Um, but really surprised me. Uh, I, I, you know, I thought it'd be kind of interesting in the, you know, I thought it was an interesting design, thought, hey, if they are actually making them in the metals they're made, they're telling us they are, I'll give them one more shot. Uh, and I'm actually quite impressed with this, uh, especially for 1650. So we'll see how it holds up long term. But um, yeah, uh, I, I find this to be really a unique knife and one that fits my hand pretty well. So you can agree, disagree, you know, carry on among yourselves. Have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you next time.